Hey guys, there are only two here to play some more Kindred Jungle. And to start off this game, I'm already really happy because for finally, for one game, Kindred isn't immediately banned and I actually got to pick her. So I'm already in a pretty good mood about this game. And uh, we also have a pretty nice team comp. We have the Twitch and the Orianna for some very nice team fighting power and AoE in team fights. Combine that with the Poppy for a very tanky front line. That is able to disrupt and peel for Twitch and uh, Soraka and me on Kindred who can also help out uh, Twitch and of course also deal a lot of damage. Um, the enemy team also on the other hand is also pretty scary. We have uh, Zyra who is an absolute monster in the bot lane currently. Um, and then we have Draven who can also really snowball out of control and Azir who also deals a lot of damage and can be very hard to deal with. But I'm pretty confident that um, we can make it work. Now, um, going into this, kind of think about what our goal is this game. So it would be really nice if, um, if our Twitch was pretty fat. Because Oriana can kind of do her job no matter what. Even if Oriana isn't that fat, she can still old and CC people. But Twitch really needs a lot of items to really start popping off in these team fights. So, uh, on the other hand, another goal um, would be to stop the Yasuo from getting fed. Now, um, with Yasuo, the thing is, she has a pretty strong level 2 and uh, level 1. So, oftentimes, when, you, uh, when the enemy has uh, a Yasuo, he's going to push at the start and you can punish him by ganking him, which actually is something that our Twitch also smartly noticed. and. Uh, uh, said so in chat. So that is actually what we're, what we're going to do. We're just going to clear our jungle when the monsters spawn and then probably go top and try to make uh, something happen there. Um, we also, we also on, uh, then we also want to focus a lot of on bot lane because uh, for two reasons. One, as I already mentioned, we want to get our Twitch ahead and on the other hand, we want to stop Draven and obviously kill him, so um, we, he loses half his passive stacks. So, we're just gonna start our jungle here, as usual, kiting uh, with Q whenever it's available, and just uh, in general kiting. Um, we can also think about uh, doing a flank on a mid lane later on, or bot lane, because we can also ex uh, expect Zyra Draven to push our lane in, and I think that's also, that's probably what, uh, what's going to happen because uh, Soraka and Twitch are really not, uh, not the strongest laners, especially when you compare them to Draven and Zyra. So, on the way, uh, we're also going to quickly just pick up the wolves. Um, when, you do, uh, when you do wolves on the, uh, on the way, you actually lose quite a bit of health. That's because um, when you saw, when, while I was doing blue buff, I could basically kite the blue buff and basically not take any damage. This is not the case really with the wolves. Um, also another trick, what I'm doing here, is I have 100 stacks on my W, so I can just quickly trigger it without really any cost or anything, because I'm not getting hit by the raves, so I can just keep running. So, um, actually, so now, we're, after smiting the red buff, we're actually pretty full HP, we can also pop another pot that we have and now we see that exactly what we expected to happen actually happened. Yasu is pushed pretty fine and we can just try to gank him and punish him for that because I think he hasn't warded yet. Now we've seen us, Poppy can't really follow because she's busy farming minions but as we see we're able to deal a lot of damage to him and we also force his flash. It was really really close, he almost would have died but sadly he didn't. But that it isn't that bad. Obviously, it would have been really, really nice to get a kill there, but sometimes we're just a bit unlucky, I guess. Um, we still force his flash. He's probably going to lose a few CS, and he has to use his TP to go back top. And we also stopped him, of course, from using his level two or level one power spike on the uh, on the poppy. Now I'm not really sure if he's already warded, so I'm just gonna. Go up here and check. Okay, this really looks like he already watered it. Um, 
And also, it's kind of hard, or sometimes it's kind of hard to gank Yasu because of his wind walk and stop your slow. Azir is another one that's kind of tricky to gank because he has a really great escape by using his Q and E to simply drift or uh, dash away. So you kind of uh, only you are kind of only able to gank Azir if he uses his Q aggressively. And if the, uh, the Azir is smart, he's going to just try to farm as much as possible in the early game instead of going for hard engages or instead of trying to fight with his Q. But sometimes you can catch him off guard uh, and try to make something happen. Now we're going to uh, flank around because we see that Azir is actually playing quite, ag uh, quite aggressively here. I think, okay, I thought he was going to back off, but he's not. So this is actually a really nice position to be in. Okay. Just hit him, get, get exhausted, and okay. Can't, sadly can't really do much anymore, but we got the exhaust. We forced him to use a few spells. Actually, Azir actually has pretty high mana cost on his EQ combo. So if you can do make something work there, um, you can kind of help your laner out by simply making him use half his mana for this combo. Okay, now again, okay, we have to quickly help our Orianna here. Okay, this is, this is looking really good. We also got the mark on, okay, he should be dead. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, we got him. Nice. That's great. Oh, the Orianna is was level 6 already. Okay, that was, that was a nice ult. And also a really nice flash by the Azir. It was really close. Um, This is looking pretty good. Uh, the Poppy traded uh, one for one. Oh, this is also really good. The Wraith camp just got marked here. Uh, Hecarim is still dead. Okay, why is the Zyra plant? Okay, she's bot lane. Okay, I thought for a second here that she may have been waiting for us here. But she just r thought about roaming, I guess, and then didn't. Um, on the top lane, uh, Poppy and Yasu traded evenly, which is kind of a, a kind of a null sum. Doesn't really matter too much uh, what, hap what happens on top lane. Because Poppy is pretty tanky. I don't think um, Yasu should be able to kill her. But it's nice to see that uh, they're going, at least going even. And uh, they're also fighting. Oh, okay. That's, that's really nice, actually. Okay, this, and, okay, he should be dead, right? Yes, okay, perfect. Very nice. To compliment him for that one. Because uh, Yasu can be pretty hard to deal with in lane sometimes. But she did a pretty good job of uh, handling him. It's also really nice because we really don't want Yasu to get fed. Because Yasu, of course, is, uh, would, could be able to kill our backline with uh, Twitch and Orianna. And of course me as well. Um, so it's nice to see him not getting fed. Um, we're just going to continue our jungle route here. Um, there's really, you have to always kind of find a balance between uh, ganking and farming. Because obviously, uh, because time is one of the most important resources you have. Obviously, while you farm, you can't gank, and while you gank, you can't farm. That sounds, uh, it, it is very obvious. Uh, and sounds really simple, but of course, in reality, it's a lot harder than simply saying, okay, find a balance, because it's hard to say what exactly this balance is. And of course, it also changes from game to game and how easy the lanes are to gain. We're just going to give uh, the blue over to Orianna here. Really no reason not to, but especially Orianna is extremely mana hungry. Okay, oh, okay. I almost stole that from her. Okay, good. Uh, Maybe we can try to come bot here. I expect them to have a ward here. It's pretty unlikely. Okay, yeah. Yeah, they had a ward here. We also don't know where Hecarim is. And uh, so that's a bit risky. You can see maybe the Azir is really, really far pushed out again. So maybe he's just going to try to run up the river. Um, yeah, okay. See there, the drift covers a lot of distance. But I think maybe, maybe we can get him. No. He's just going to deal a bit of damage to me and then dash away. I'm just going to go get my rep buff here. Then uh, maybe see uh, if top lane, if the wave bounces off the turret, maybe we can make something work there. We also just saw Hecarim on the map down there. Um, okay, he's coming middle. I'm going to try to, okay, uh, maybe, hopefully, oh, I think she's dead. I think, oh, 
Okay, that was... Oh, the Soraka heal, okay. Okay. Oh, and the, sh the shield. Oh, okay. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Can we get the Izzy as well? Yeah, he's gonna die. Yes. Oh, perfect. Okay. That was really, really nice. We got the... We even got the mark from Azir. Okay. Uh, that Soraka ult really saved the day there. Was it really perfect. And Oriana is also really happy, as you can see in chat. Oh, that, okay. That was that was really nice. We got uh, two kills there, and uh, Oriana didn't even die. Okay. I'm a bit scared of Zyra, but I'm two levels above her. I'm just gonna smite the scuttle crab. I don't want to risk it. Um, okay, we could think about going from there. Okay, I'm just gonna loop around. Oh, okay. Oh god, I did a mistake. Uh, Twitch already went in. Okay, that was kind of my bad. Okay, the poppy is coming to TP. Yeah. Yeah, that was kind of my bad. I don't think I'm even going to get an assist on these two. Yeah, I got snared. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to even get an assist on them. Ah, okay, that was kind of unfortunate. That was uh, also kind of my bad. I should have I should have just immediately ran down the lane. I didn't know that uh, Twitch was already engaging. I thought the plan was to just to for him to wait for me, and uh, I, but I should have adjusted when I saw this Azir is still this Azir man. He's still completely overextended. He might have a ward now. Okay, he just I think he just used his Q. Okay, what what on earth is he doing? Why is he overextending so? Hard? Okay, he flashed away. And now dash. I think we can still get him. We can still get him. We got our Q in uh, one second. Okay, perfect. We got the speed up. Hands up my auto there. Okay. The red buff slow should finish him off. Ah, yeah. okay, perfect. Just really nice. We got uh, a lot of money at the moment. Can we do something top? No, no, okay. Okay, Oriana wants to do the Rift Herald. I'm not that sure, but it's pretty... I don't know if I can take it, but... Okay, let's try. I think we, I think we can make it work. Uh, you, the sad thing is you can't really kite the Rift Herald because it loses its uh, aggression bar very quickly. Okay, this is getting a bit scary. Okay, Oriana, can you tank it? Oriana. Okay, perfect. We got it. So oh, the puppy is uh, the puppy is fighting top lane. We can't really, oh, I, but I can't really help her. Ah, that's a bit. I think uh, she didn't notice that we were doing the Rift Herald and so, uh, thought we could help her. But, uh, I mean, I have no mana, and I have 100 HP. I don't think it would, it would have been a good idea to come and help her there. We're still in a really good spot at the moment. I mean, obviously, with 4-0, we have a lot of money. So, we're just going to get a Blood Razor, and then, let's, let me think about what I'm getting. Um, okay, I think I'm going to get the Boots of, the Boots of Swiftness. Pretty good to have, especially because we are so fed. Um, of course... Compared to regular boots, we're spending 600 more gold, um, and get, obviously we're only, in quote unquote, only getting movement speed from that. That means that if we are behind and really need the combat stats, that, uh, for example, if we gotten uh, other items instead, would have given us, then it would have not been a good idea to just get boots of swiftness. But because we are so fat, we don't really need, uh, we don't really need the combat stats, so it's not as important. Uh, Twitch wants, I think he's pretty safe there. We can just take the free dragon. Didn't it, uh, when you level, uh, I'm, I mean, I'm level 8 and got my Blood Razor and even two extra daggers now. But even if you just level 6 and have your Blood Razor, you can very easily solo Drake. I mean, you can see I barely lost any HP and after just regening a bit of this uh, scuttle crab, uh, I'm already almost back to full. Okay, uh, Ariana can just push in her wave, and then we can just give her the blue buff again. Again, Oriana is an extremely uh, mana-hungry mage, so it's pretty important to give her the blue buff. For some other mages, you can sometimes think about not giving it to them. For, uh, for example, if you're really fed, and, uh, they are, uh, and they are not that dependent on blue buff, you can think about just taking it for yourself. Well, sometimes you sadly of course have a situation where they just keep dying and you know that if you gave them blue buff there's a pretty good chance they would just get donated to the enemy mid laner and that's really not worth it. It kind of these situations kind of suck, but of course they do happen. And if if it happens then it's really not worth it sometimes uh to give them the blue buff. Just 
keep playing like uh, clearing our jungle um the poppy is extremely strong at the moment she's really destroying the, the yasu so maybe we can come and dive there should be a good idea because poppy is uh, extremely tanky now if we look at her items up there she got the sunfire cape and the uh, item for uh probably her iceborne gauntlet so she is extremely tanky and she also has a lot of armor so she can tank the turret pretty easily so okay we don't really have any minions okay she's already going oh fate mark you oh god oh god the wind wall oh god oh god the wind wall oh oh my god oh my god i'm boosted oh holy shit i'm boosted oh my god oh my god i'm boosted <laughs> okay. Yeah, the wind wall, the wind wall completely, completely ruined my day there. <sighs> okay, uh, bot lane is asking for assistance. Um, that was a really, really bad gank, of course. I also didn't old in time. Oh, Twitch. Ah, okay, he's probably dead. And that's what I mean by uh, talking about Zyra. She's extremely strong at the moment and can basically delete most AD carries in a few seconds. Okay, uh, Hecarim really likes to gank mid she he he was top once i think he wasn't bot yet so he's really ganking mid a lot of course we know the last time they he did that it didn't really work out that well and i got a double kill um okay draven is trying to dive uh or not really dive go after soraka she should be pretty pretty free crit, uh, free kill here he doesn't have any mana and zyra isn't there to back him up yet okay it was a pretty Maybe we can maybe we can get uh, Zyra as well. She snapped me, so I'm not. Sure. Maybe if we go around this way. Should I flash? Oh, no, I don't. I don't think it's a good idea. Um, if we look at the map, we see that basically everyone is miss. We don't know where Azir is. We don't know where Asu is. We don't know where Hecarim is, and we don't even know if we would get the kill if we flashed after the, after her there. So I think it's a good idea to just. To just save our flash. Now our dive top lane and the fact that bot. Oh, okay, Hecarim. What the hell? Okay, okay. Ah, uh, I'm sure. Okay. Uh, I think we can outplay him here if we just use our Q correctly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Perfect. That's kind of the way you want to play around your old. Um, the general plan is. Okay, what's happening mid? Okay, they're backing off. I think uh, I think Oriana should be fine here. Ori, don't don't do it, Ori. Oh, Ori, no, Ori, what are you doing? The Thunderlord's proc. Okay, it was a bit un. Oh, oh god. Oh, okay. It was obviously calculated. I knew uh, he wouldn't get me there. Of of course. Oh. Uh... Okay, the Zyra, the Zyra is just completely destroying everything here. She just solo killed our, our bot lane. Okay, okay, we can flash over them. Maybe we can get a Zyr too? Nope. Okay, we forced a flash and it was a pretty nice play. We flashed over the snare. Uh, otherwise, she would have just gotten away. We can also deal some damage on the mid turret and maybe we can get the... Mark afterwards, okay, no, okay, Hecarim, Hecarim, nah, he, he doesn't have a chance, any chance, okay, easy. It's uh, really one of the strengths of uh, Kindred, especially, of course, obviously, I'm really fat at the moment, I mean, I'm 8-1, so it's kind of not really a surprise that I can easily kill him, but uh, just in general, with your Q and your W, you just, you're just um, too mobile for any melee to really catch you. Hecarim is even is actually pretty good at uh, dealing with kindred. You um, you first of all you have he has his E uh, to easily charge you and you can't really get away from that, as well as his old to fear you. But still, you see here my W seven hundred and sixty damage, oh, and that that wasn't even the full duration because the wolf died in the meantime. So and that's just that's just my W. So if I fight uh, Hecarim in my W, he basically doesn't stand any chance. And that's not even taking into account my auto attack damage. Oh, okay, I'm a bit scared of the Zyra, considering how fat she is, and that she just deleted my bot lane 1v2. 
Uh, we're just gonna get the scuttle crab here and then think about taking the drake. I think Zyra has a pretty good idea what's going on. Okay, first of all. Okay, I think Zyra's coming down here. Okay, no, she isn't. Okay, that's weird. Okay, Yasuo is here. I think we should be able to kill him. Okay, yeah, that's what I was talking about. He can just easily block. Okay. Should be... Oh god, okay. Um... I think if I had button mashed hard enough there and just try to do it in the split second, could have maybe ulted, but it would have been a really, it would have been, probably been a really bad play. So, also pro maybe I would have survived, but on the other hand, then even if I would have survived, Hecarim and Zyra and basically their entire team. Okay, let's, first of all, uh, we finish that later. I think Ariana is probably dead. Maybe he can make it work. Nope. Okay, didn't even get to ult. Yeah, Hecarim can be pretty strong, but Kindred is pretty good at dealing with him. Now, I'm going to get the Hex Drinker here. Um, I suppose I should talk a bit more about my items. Um, after Poppy fights the 1v2 here. Can she, can she do it? Can she do Oh, okay, nice. And the ambulance is coming, the Soraka ambulance. Okay, very, very nice. Uh, I think again, Hecarim and Azir are coming. We should probably back off here. Okay, so um, to talk a bit about uh, my itemization at the moment. So, um, Hex Drinker is actually quite obvious. We have the enemy team has a Zyra that is completely destroying everything. They have an Azir, another extremely strong magic damage dealer. Um, so, Hex Drinker is really the, the most the kind of obvious option here. We can get the, the Yasuo is pretty greedy. He's playing a bit aggressively. We probably have to ult here. Yeah. Okay. But with Soraka here, yeah, it's 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 the ult for for the uh for the kill. It's extremely worth it. But I don't know, it's that was extremely that was a really weird play. It gives us a free dragon and uh, or probably a free dragon. Um oh okay, they're coming. Oh, I can smite this in time. Oh. Oh no, fuck. Oh god. Oh god. Mm. Oh god. Oh god. I'm so bad. Holy shit. Okay. Oh god. Okay, yeah, I definitely could have, could have played that better by simply hitting the smite. Um, and again, the Twitch is getting killed by the Zyra a lot. The Zyra is extremely strong in this patch. So she's very dangerous, but I think my team should probably just stop fighting here. I mean, they're already they're only two v probably two v five or something. Okay, Poppy is still going in. Obviously, not my team's fault that I that was completely my fault. To defend middle, I don't think Hecarim is gonna get the turret, but uh, he's gonna get some pretty good damage on it. And of course, it's I mean it's Hecarim can't really uh, chase him down when he has his E up. Um, okay. I think we can fight them here. We got uh, Poppy coming from the flank. Poppy is extremely strong with flanking. Okay, let's go in. We have to be kind of uh, careful here. We don't have our ult up. Okay, I'm just gonna play defensively and let uh, Poppy do the work, basically. Okay, we can get the get the Draven. Re-engage when uh, the Soraka was there, ready to heal me up. And when it was safe, basically. Um, okay, we have to def top lane again. It's a bit of these uh, split pushing constantly. It's a bit annoying, of course, always. The hacker room and the Yasu and so on. Um, if we get there with Soraka and Kindred, maybe the Soraka can bait the Yasu. The turret is pretty low. But Yasu is also pretty fat. He got five kills, 200 CS. Okay, but I think she should be dead. He didn't get the. Uh, he didn't completely destroy us with the wind wall here. Okay, so here's some revenge for our fail for the failed dive. Because um, really, when okay, we could maybe do Baron. Okay, not not if Twitch is dead. That's a bit unfortunate. Um, if Twitch, and I think Poppy is going to die as well. Yeah, looks likely. Yeah. Okay, she's dead. Uh, maybe if Twitch and Poppy hadn't died uh, bot lane there, we could have gotten the Baron because we just caught uh, we just caught him out. 
uh, called out the Yasuo. We can also maybe make something happen. Okay, uh, Azir, Azir just dashed in. So, okay. Oh, the turret is up here. Okay. Yeah, he should be dead, though. Okay, perfect. Didn't even, uh, couldn't even see the turret from the fog of war, and it was a bit surprising. But, uh, on the other hand, that's something you have to immediately punish, basically. You have a champion like uh, Azir, or there, there are a few others. Um, for example, if, if, um, if people use their only escape, to do an aggressive play, you basically have to immediately go in and punish it extremely hard. Another example would, for example, uh, would be, okay, one second, they're chasing us here to be, okay, okay, oh god, is Hecarim gonna get us? I think, no, we, we did too much damage, he's a bit scared of us, which is understandable. Um, so for example, if Ezreal uh, ease in, you can immediately go in and punish him, yeah, they're, they're trying Baron here. Yeah, that's a really weird idea. Yeah, and they notice that it's probably a horrible idea to do Baron here and back off. Yeah, that's probably smart to not do Baron here. If they if they went for that, then we would they would have gotten absolutely destroyed. We got the Orianna old. Okay, maybe we can get Raven over here. Oh God, Cyrus, you're fucked. Okay, uh, I think we can just flash over the wall here. Okay, nice. Okay, we escaped. Very nice. Hecarim is going after. Her. Okay, Poppy. Thank you, Poppy. And the uh, ambulance is coming. Sweet. Okay, we can save. Save the. I think he's just gonna run away, right? Um, close, close. Oh yeah, he got the movement speed buff from the scuttle crab. But in the meantime, team, my team is cleaning up. Uh, don't have smite up. This is kind of, and they have vision with the scuttle crab. This is kind of risky. Okay, uh, let's clear the pink ward and let's try to go for it. I, I don't know about this. This is really, really risky. Hecarim is coming. I mean, we, we deal a lot of damage to Baron as Kindred, but... Okay, we can get the Zyra. Get the Zyra. Okay, perfect. But still, if he goes in... I don't know about this. Uh, okay, we forced him off. Maybe we can finish the Baron. We got Smite in 5 seconds. 4, 3... Oh, no. Yes, yes, sir is coming in. This really isn't worth it. Okay, I'm probably... Nah, okay. Damn it. Okay, nice, he died from the bleed. And Yasu, will he make the play happen? Can he make it happen? He can make it happen. Okay, perfect. That's, that's pretty good. I mean, I expected worse, essentially. Ah, Twitch. Twitch. Twitch going in with the, with the reset, with the invisibility. Oh, he's going after Z as well. Okay. Very nice. Okay, maybe we can do Baron when I respawn. I don't know, I'm up in 10. Azir is still 40 seconds away. Hmm, I'm not sure. Okay, so let's mark Azir. Now, uh, the thought process behind this is generally... Okay, what, what do I buy here? Um, okay, what do I get? Borg or... I don't know. I think... Um, so the three options I thought about here were QSS, and QSS is not really something that's worth it, I think, against their team. It's usually a really good item, but they only have the Zyra Snare at really hard CC, and I guess some slows, so that's not really something you want to buy QSS for. On the other hand, um, Blade of the Rune King, they don't really stack that much HP. And especially the priority targets, so Draven, Zyra, and Azir, they don't stack any um, HP, so it's not really worth it to buy. Um, Draven is bought, maybe we can get the Baron over here. Let's see. I'm not sure, I think they're, they're already pretty close, and they also have a lot of AoE. They have the Azir, if Azir walls us in into Baron, and then Zyra uh, ults us, we're pretty, we're pretty much fucked. Okay. Well, the Yasu is a bit out of position here. Maybe we can get him. Yeah, he's okay. Okay. I mean, I'm I'm not complaining about Twitch destroying the enemy team alone. I mean, I I don't mind. It's pretty pretty good to have. So, okay, what's he doing? Yeah, he's probably gonna run a quarter a kill. Okay, come on, come on, come on, Ekarim, don't be an asshole. Give Twitch's Penta. 
Come on, man. Poor Twitch. Oh, what an asshole. Doesn't even give him the Penta. Okay, this is a pretty for you, uh, Baron. We also have a uh, vision all. We also have a uh, vision all around the Baron pit. Um, Ekron didn't try to steal, but he's still around here somewhere. Can we get him? He's not in. Ah, yeah, he is in there. Okay. Okay, careful, so he might go for the Soraka. Okay, she got exhaust. Okay, perfect. Does it count as a Penta? Ah, that's a bit unlucky. Yeah. Well, that's sad. Okay. So, Baron is obviously really nice to have, especially, especially against an Azir and a Zyra, because uh, Azir has pretty insane wave clear, and he can also wave clear from a very safe distance, so it can be really hard to siege turrets against Azir. Uh, Baron obviously helps with that a lot. The Baron up minions don't really, uh, they can't be cleared that easily. So that's really kind of the only way to uh, crack their base open uh, when they have Azir defending a turret. So okay, what are they? Okay, we shouldn't we shouldn't be so aggressive here. The Twitch end is still bot lane. Okay, let's just uh, push down mid. Kind of the obvious quote unquote thing to do when you have a Baron. Just push down mid, get down that inhib. And then you can start thinking about getting more in uh, with the pressure from the mid inhib. You can get the top inhib and so on. Kind of the way to... Oh, okay. Nice. Twitch is legendary. I don't mind. This is, this is pretty good. With uh, They can't really do much against Twitch. Because um, when we look at their team, we have uh, Azir and Zyra. And these are two mages that are mainly backline mages. They're not... Someone, they're obviously not someone like LeBlanc who's going to go in and kill our Twitch. They're more standing in the back line waiting for us to engage and then they are strong. Okay, and just Poppy can just go in and just force them away from the turret. He's extremely tanky and even more so with the Soraka here. The, the wind walls, this Yasuo has some pretty nice wind walls. Especially, they're pretty strong against my E, but he uh, times them really well. So, let's see what we can do. At the mid turret, maybe we can just clean up the bot turret, get some free gold essentially. So let's see what we can do. Okay, there's it. Okay, he's going in. Just gonna ult for the. Yeah, I'm just gonna ult Soraka so she can survive and keep healing up. Poppy is really extremely tanky in the back line there. Oh damn, Azir got Soraka. Okay, this is kind of still kind of close. This team fight. Twitch is sitting in the back. Okay, Twitch got his old back. Yep, time to clean up. Okay. Yeah, I see you're dead. You're dead, right? Yep. Okay. Oh, that's really nice stuff. And and uh, we marked the Azir earlier, so now we got the the mark from that. And um, I guess I didn't really talk too much about uh, who to mark in general. So the general idea is first uh, at the start you mark the enemy jungler. Basically, the reason for that is essentially what happened you counter gank um, and when you counter gank you can get the um, can the one second can they also get us maybe with the next minion wave i think i think we're pretty safe so um you can use it to counter gank um and also it's kind of obvious when you oh this yasu is still chasing what the fuck okay that's weird i don't really know what he's doing we already got nine marks, really, really quite a lot, especially as at thirty minutes. I mean, that's eleven. That's eleven percent of the HP. Look at Draven here; he has one point five k HP. Ten percent of that is one hundred and fifty bonus damage on the first hit. We have one hundred eighty HD, uh, one hundred eighty one AD. So our passive is basically doubling our AD, at least on the first hit on Draven. Um, obviously getting reduced by armor, but we have quite a lot of armor pen. 32 and 7%, now 42 and 7%. And uh, we can really just melt this Draven extremely quickly. They don't really have that much armor. I'm thinking about maybe, could I get... Uh, I thought about getting a Last Whisper, but I don't really think it's worth it against their team. Because... Um, because I, I think just... Uh, 
Play of the Rune King is probably the better option here. In this case. But it's it's kind of debatable. This game is kind of a, not a story of me hard carrying. Even though I'm uh, 10 and 4. It's really just this Twitch doing work. I guess we kind of, uh, we did really well in the early game. And we um, we really kept the Azir down. Which is pretty good. Can we get the Yasu? Mm. The problem with chasing Yasu as Kindred is always that if I use my E on him, he's just going to win wall. So why even bother, essentially? Okay, keep cleaning up uh, with their base. I mean, uh, I think we're just probably going to end. At least not maybe right now or maybe in a few seconds. Yeah, this is pretty much over. Yeah, they surrendered. Okay. So that was a pretty good game. Um, in the end, um, we didn't really uh, we didn't really hard carry, even though we are ten and four. It was more a story of Twitch just completely popping off near the end there. But that was a really nice game. So um, if you want to see more content similar to this one, feel free to uh, like the video or subscribe if you want to. And also uh, direct any criticism, comments or any questions you have about playing Kindred. Uh, and just comment on the video if you want to. Uh, have a nice day and good luck, have fun playing the game.